Guys, welcome back. Today we are playing Stone Block 3, a new mod pack that came out last week. And I'm really excited to try it out. So, guys, in Stone Block 3, unlike the other two, 1 and 2, you spawn in this room. To select your world, you need to go through the portal. And you get six options. The classic one, the original or the original one, or five more. Um, as per my understanding, if you select this one, last house, you get some benefit, such as some items like a cauldron and and other items as well, like wood, um, available from the beginning. So we chose uh, that one. So guys, let's begin. You receive a quest book as soon as you get here. Welcome to FTB Stone Block 3. I'm not going to read all that. You can do it on your own. But basically, as you can see, the map uh, goes away from your spawn and continues with different types of uh, blocks. Starting from stone, going into dungeons, caves, and eventually a ring of never an end. So let's complete that. Nice starting. Yep. This is info that you can read on your own. Getting started. So guys, to as uh, in the previous uh, stone block packs, to begin, you need to break some stone and you get pebbles. Four pebbles make one stone block. Let's see. So you need to break them with an empty hand. All right. So. I've got about 40 stone pebbles, which makes 10 cobble. If you shift, hold shift and click K while on the stone pebble, you just automatically make the cobblestone. Then we'll need a crafting table. Let's see where to place it. I mean, we'll rearrange everything later. So crafting table, regular recipe but with stone then you'll need um three stone roads why i'll tell you why and two cobble so to make all that as you can can see i needed 40 stone pebbles now you can start mining faster and i'll be back when, once i have more cobble all right, uh, one of the next achievements is a chest. I think that's not a chest. <laughs> yeah, that's a furnace. Uh, you'll need it anyways. To make a chest, how do you do it? How do you do a chest? Right. Do you need four? I think you need four. Let's check this out. Yep, that's a chest. Very nice. Also, I, I've got my quest book on Z key. What I did is go to options, controls, key bindings, uh, type in quest, and then you get the open quests. You will get uh, a lot of uh, other options on the Z key. So you just press key, type in Z, and you'll have all the options under Z. I removed them all, but it's up to you. So what do we need next? We need a crook. Let's get some more stone. Make it into sticks. And I believe the crook goes like this. Very nice. Very nice. All right. To get the gravel. So these achievements go like this. Just place one cobble. And with your stone hammer, crush it. Place the gravel that you get, crush it again, 
Place the dirt, crush it again. Place the sand, crush it again. And you have all these achieved. Now, to get seeds. Right. We need a lot of dirt. Well, we don't need a lot of dirt, but... Uh, to get the seeds, I mean. Maybe we just need one. Let's see. You need to crush some cobble into dirt. And then just use your crook. Well, we got a sapling. But we'll also need... Actually, can we feed it? No, we can't. What is this? Blazing archwood sampling. That seems like a nice one. Can we twerk? Let's see. Yes, we can. Can it grow? Does it have enough space? Maybe it doesn't. Does this have enough space? Yeah, I think the, the spruce needs four. Anyways, guys, I'll clear those things uh, later. Uh, let's get back to seeds. Let's quickly get some more stone. Also, guys, if you're using this, uh, this base, you can find underside right here. <laughs> Which is a bit of cheating, but, uh, I mean, it's here, right? We might as well use it. Then if you explore this space, you can find some more nice stuff that you can use, such as a cauldron, two cauldrons, three cauldrons, and uh, a bed. And I think that's it. And a bell, four cauldrons. Oh, more cauldrons. <laughs> Anyways, guys. We don't need those yet. But what we need is some uh, wood. Ooh, and some barrels. Nice. This we can use as area storage. But we need, we don't need them yet. So, so, so. Can we make an axe? Let's see. Nope, that's not how you make an axe. How do you make an axe? Right, we need sticks. All right, guys. Then I'll uh, I'll be back with some more cobblestone, which I will break into dirt, and uh, yeah, we'll just crook it all. All right, guys. I'm I'm a bit stupid. You can get seeds from these things. That was a bit stupid from my point. So, if you're spawning in this world... Just go crazy. And clear the whole area out. Alright. Back to stone mining. Actually, can we use anything for this to operate? Because if we get three stone, let's see. Can we use moss block? No, we can't. Can we use stone pebble? Nope, nope. Nothing. We need wood. We need wood. Alright. Let's actually, let's do 20. 20 cobble. We should get some saplings. Some normal, some oak sapling. And also there is a vein mine available. Mine is set uh, by default on the key next to one. Okay, so that. Is there a want? Is there a want? Don't want. Can it be built with this? <laughs> we need one stone. We got plenty around. No, you can't. You need the wooden stick. That's okay. Let's the travel. Vein mine it with the the hammer. Smash it with the hammer. Just the dirt. We'll keep one dirt. And just crook it. Let's see what we get. 
Did we get some oak saplings? Yes, we did. This should be... Okay, let's place... Oops. Let's place some dirt. Let's fix this real quick. And you just work until the tree grows. I think we can get uh, more saplings from vein mining the leaves. Yeah, we got plenty of saplings. And we got some apples. Which is a nice source of food early on. Let's vein mine the logs. Uh, that didn't work. Of course it didn't. We need a tool. Can we use this to vein? I can't try. Anyways, guys. Four logs is not na that much time. Let's get some sticks. Sticks are... Are a normal recipe. Well, that's a lot of sticks. Let's get a stone wand. Very nice. And let's get... Hold on a sec. Let's get an axe. Very nice. And also, can we smell three stone? Okay. With the sticks, I think we can. We'll come back to this later. Let's get some more dirt. Place it down. Smash it into gravel. Place it down. Smash it into dirt. Get some more setup for our trees. Nice. We'll get more eventually. Work them all. Well, that should be enough and just mine them all nice i miss that future in Seftech ages it makes everything easier and faster and let's break this with our crook okay we'll get a new one these are stone down very nice so you will need three stone to make a wait regular sticks yes it is regular sticks so three wooden sticks and three stone make you a stone hammer but not this stone hammer and uh, a hammer from just hammers let's delete the dust we'll use we'll make more later which allows you to mine in three by three making the stone gathering much much faster And this is definitely recommended to save you time at the beginning. All right, a stack of stone. Very nice. Very nice. Hold on a sec, guys. So, I think I wanted more crooks. Nope, that's not the way to go. Make one. Oops, break those and those. Very nice, a lot of apples, which is always good for starting food. And I think we can cook them. Can we cook them? Can we cook? Them? We can't? No way. There are no such thing as a cooked apple. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Maybe... Maybe it's available in another mode, but it's not installed. Anyways, guys. Nothing to worry about. Raw apples are good as well. 
So, I think we made the chest. Yes, we did. Let's make two more. I mean, three more. And, uh, yeah. How many do we need of those things? On button. Where did we get that from? I don't even remember. One. So, that's one. And we need three in total. Make three. Boom. And place them down. One can be used for our saplings, but not, and seeds, and the others, the other we'll see, we'll see. So, also, as you can see, did I get the andesite? Wait, I thought I did. Hold on. I thought I mined some andesite. Weird. I did mine all that. Ooh, we're getting cobble. Maybe I need a pickaxe. Hold on, guys. Let's make a normal pickaxe. So I lost like six andesite. That's my mistake. Yeah, andesite. There you go. Very nice. So don't use your hammer on those. Your hammer smashes down on the side and you basically lose it. But as you can see, there's a lot of it here. So let's also make that tinker too. The tinker, what do you call it? Tinker table. Hold on a sec. Wait, what? Crafting table. Crafting station. Make the basic tinker tables. Tinker station and part builder. Tinker station. How do you make that? Hmm. All right. Maybe I'm confused with uh, safety cages. Completely different recipe. And the part builder, how do you do that? All right. All right, guys, maybe that's an updated version of the, uh, of the Tinker's mode. And I'm out of date. <laughs> nice. So we got that too. What is this? Ooh, right, guys, this is a mod called uh, Loot Beast or something like that. You need as fast as you get to them, the faster you get to them, the more rewards you receive. So if you see an icon like that, just get to them as soon as possible. And as soon as you get to them, they start dropping loot for you, I think. I think you need to click on it or something. Did I mess this up? What do you need to do? I'm confused now. Now I am confused. Oh, there you go. Oops, I didn't mean to. There you go. Nice. We got a diamond. We got an egg, which we threw at the bee. What else? Another egg. Oh, an iron ingot. Two eggs. Wait. What happened? What is that? Oh. And a dripper. Okay, so from the bee, we got from the loot bee, we got two eggs. Sorry, we got three eggs, but we threw one at the bee, one iron ingot, one diamond, and one mystical sign flower. Sorry, and a dripper. The dripper we'll use later. Anyways, guys, let's get back to our thingy. Let's place all this here and let's place the the Tinker Station and the Part Builder. Right, as you can see in the mod pack, you get uh, rewards for each task you complete. But you can click this button at the right uh, top corner and you'll get everything. Hold on a sec, let me empty all my inventory. Let me eat, let me eat. And let's see what we get. Com 
compressed gravel, compressed dirt, compressed sand. And the set case, nice, we'll use this later. Lapis lazuli paxo, I'm not sure if it's good. Dust, useless. Vile sword, hopper, linking tool, basket, hovering hourglass. And some optional rewards. Let's just get the oak logs and some optional. Oh no, we didn't get optional. We just got all those seeds. Nice. These seeds we can use later on, including carrots and potatoes to make the farm. Basket. What is this? This is just a test. A uh, chest. Can I pick it up? Does it keep the inventory? No, it doesn't. Useless unless somebody tells me what it's used for. Oh, we didn't get one compressor. We got three. Oh, nice. We got four on the side casing, two compressed gravel, and three compressed dirt. Avering I've glass. I'm not very familiar with the Botania mode, but uh, I guess this is good. And nice. We got four hoppers. Let's check this tool. How much durability does it have? HP 250. Is that durability? Yes. Well, that's a useful tool, but... Uh, yep, the durability will go down very quickly. And a vile sword. Durability 250. Right. So that's weird how it works here. The, the info window goes behind the search. I'm not sure if it's a bug or is it my thing. But anyways, you put it here, you can see the durability. Durability 250. I think 6 damage and 1.6 attack speed is the same as an iron sword. Yep. So we got basically an iron sword, unless there is ability, uh, there is an, an ability behind the sword which I'm not aware of. All right, guys. Next thing is we need to get into the create mode and uh, craft a milestone, millstone, a handcrack, and a cogwheel. And for that, let's see what we need. We need some cogwheel. Craft. How do you build on the side alloy? Yeah, we don't have all that yet. But we do have the button. And a polished on the side. Did I lose that as well when I was breaking it? That's why spawning in this house is uh, very useful. Because it has all... It has andesite and polished andesite available. I mean, you can keep the house if you want to, but... Yeah. I, I don't need it yet, I just need the resources. And we're missing one, one polished andesite. Where is it? There it is. I think I broke something useful. What is this? I don't know what. Can I eat the mushroom? No. I can, but I don't want to. Also, guys, I changed my settings again. And as you can see, everything is bright for you. But actually, it would be a bit darker. Anyways. So. We needed some buttons. Let's make... A oh, no. Anyways, we'll use the chests. Let's make some buttons. Let's make... Uh, how many is that? 16 is 2. Let's make 32. 32 buttons. And then you surround the polish down the side with the buttons to get a cogwheel. A hand crank. I used my polished on the side. Can I make this into polished? Yes, I can. So we'll need a stick. 
here, three planks and a polish on this side. Is that not the recipe? Is that not the recipe? Hold on. Right. Do we need a stone road or do we need, or can we use a stick? We need the stone road. Let's make one. Boom, hand crack. And then the most important thing is the millstone. All right. So one plank, hog wheel, two polished, and the side and one cobble. And this is not how you build it. Right. Just normal and the side works. Nice. And we have one more quest completed. We got a skillet. I guess this is used for cooking. Let's see. All right. I'm not sure if it's useful. Right. Then what you need to do, you place the millstone, you place the hand crank, not like this. I think it's like so. Nope. Right. Sorry. I might be a bit of a noob. You place the cogwheel and the hand crack. And this is how it works. But what you need is... You will need the hammer. The initial hammer that you make from... Sorry, we need three rods from stone rods and cobblestone. You need to break down the cobble into gravel. Check. Boom, boom. And I believe you need to, hopefully I don't get a flint. Where's my gravel? No idea. What you need to do is go up and just drop the gravel inside. Then, as you can see, the gravel is inside the millstone. And you just hold right click until the millstone grinds the gravel into different resources. Let's see. Where did everything go? Or does it need more time? To shift and hold, you can see how much gravel it has. Where did the items go? Weird. Very weird. Very weird. Let's open some area. Maybe I didn't grind enough. Let's try it again. 13 gravel. Hmm. See, we got some resources. Is it by chance? We grinded some gravel and we got nothing. Nice. So guys, um you can you can continue doing so by hand but it's definitely recommended that you automate the process and to do so you will need a water wheel which is uh, done With a large hog wheel and 
Tanks. Clubs. We will need eight. Clubs. Right, guys, I'm stupid. Then you'll need uh, water. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, to get water, you need to place leaves into a cauldron. Um, you can craft wooden shears with two planks, and if you're in this world, you get uh, leaves very easily. If you're not in this world, then you can just get some trees and yeah, get some leaves. If you're also in this world, you can get a lot of cauldrons as you saw previously. And I think you need uh, to place it over some fire source. And the torch should act like a fire source. Let's see. Get some leaves, place them inside. Does it need to be over a fire source? Yeah, guys. And I also cranked some uh, gravel, some more gravel to get some iron um, to craft a bucket. Hold on a sec. Let's retrieve that. Let's just test it out. Do you need fire under it? No, you don't. My mistake. You just uh, go ham with some leaves and you get water. So, let's create an infinite water source block. Like a so. Yep, very nice. And let's slab it out. Just like a soul. All right. We also can make the cobble gen. Which is very easy to make. Sorry, guys. For those that uh, are not in this world and are in the class. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. The loot B. Where's my hammer? Where did I place it? There you go. We need to get that, guys. ASAP. The faster you get to it, the better loot you get. Where is it going? Right. I guess it was there for a long time. Then it disappeared. That's okay, that happened. Alright. Cauldron is uh, 7 iron. Yep, 7 iron. So you'll have to just uh, hand crack this uh, thing until you get enough. Alright, back to... Our goal. Cobble gen. Cobble gen. You'll need compressed stone and a glass. Are you kidding me? I think we have some sand. Let's smell some sand. And you'll need compressed stone. How much is that? Nine. Wait. Is that the one we need to make? Make a cobble gen. Higher one. Yes, this is the one. So we'll need six times nine. Fifty-four stone. Well, we got two cobble. I guess we'll just need more. We'll get this smelting, get some more wood. Actually, let's get a furnace. Another furnace to make charcoal. Where's our axe? Nice. So we'll get this melted and we'll get our cobblestone generator cobble gen tire one to get a lava bucket to get a lava first you will need uh, more iron do i have any gravel i'm all over the place 
Can we get some more iron? Guys, sorry to cut the episode short, but this is all I have time for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you back tomorrow for some more safe tech ages and then uh, stone block on Wednesday. So yeah guys, hope to see you soon. Have a good one. Bye guys.